All right, we appear to be live. Smash. Big, big doors. Welcome in. All right, so we're going to work on the king's and queen's chambers again, and I still need to figure out what we're going to do with this side. I don't know yet. I need to raise that all up. God, I'm not looking forward to moving that whole table. I wish we could move stuff with things on it. It would be so much nicer. Oh, I didn't finish that out either. Do I have any more stuff? You know what? I wonder if I could put in... I wonder so obviously we can do that but can I do the can I do this probably the answer is no but yes yeah, I can't even get it in there. I'd have to put it in there move this over it that'd be that'd be a nightmare all right I'll pass on that What's up, Jasper? We are planning and scheming today. We're gonna see what we can see if we can finish uh, the king's and queen's chamber out today, and maybe the glade, and then maybe we will see if we can. Oh yeah, I still need to change that plant to something else. So this bathroom still is good. We got that good. Let's go check on the glade. And then I'm going to, I don't know, we got to see what we can do with this other side. Because I'm thinking, and this room's still kind of blah. It's kind of boring. Alright, so how are we doing down here? These trees still need to grow a little bit more. Oh wait, can we put any on this down here yet? No. This one's still being a jerk. Okay, so we still got to wait for that tree to grow a little. That's still fine. That's all fine. Okay. All right. We're still going to wait for the trees to grow a little bit more before we can do too much else there. Part of me wants to put a door and part of me doesn't. Seems logical to have a door, but at the same time, we're already in a hidden space to begin with. So it's like, do we really need a door down here? I need more stuff. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to shove book. Oh. Damn you. What light's doing it? Is it really that one? can't be that up there, can it? All right, let's see if we can see what's causing the light. Of course, I don't cast a shadow. It might be the one up top. Damn you. <laughs> uh, well, we gotta redo this now. That's alright. We got a good. Still work. Alright, we still work. Well, shoot. Something is causing... All right, I'm going to have to... Oh, I can't put books in that, though. <laughs> I could put fake books. Yeah, it's stupid. All right, let's go get... More books. Let's go get some more books. Let's finish these things out. Get that over there done. We'll put this... Crazy jobby here. Someone is texting me. Bear with me. Alright, get this up on a platform just so there's more prominence to the king and queen there. And then crew quarters, servants quarters, the quarters for the rest of the whoever we're putting in here. Because we have to get down to that. And we're going to be coming in 
somewhere over here. We could always bring it in way over here so it's not, well, or like even in here, come down so that the bridge stays intact like it is. We don't have a, you know, have it coming in straight across there. Probably still do a balcony. And then I can't really do anything with this because that's the border. I guess we could make it so like that all caved in. We could put, we can do some of the, that's, you know what, let's do some of that. But I don't know if I want to keep this level though. Ah, oh, damn it. We're going to, we're going to figure all that out. First and foremost, I need books. I think I have some in here. No, but I got some other stuff. More of those, more of these. Let's just go ahead and use these two. I mean, I could always put one or two of those on a bookshelf. It's such a low candle that you know, it doesn't look too bad. I could put a couple dish types, like the bowl types or something. Or you even just stack some dishes on them. Might look a little weird. Uh, I've got so many of those things, though. Nothing there's going to work. I don't see the small ones working very well. Take that. The small plants, I mean. Alright. Needs books. Oh, that's right. We were supposed to do a little like knitting area or something weren't we I could take the okay okay I could take the table from where I put it for the quote her side and make it more of this kinda have a couple of those jobbies in there I don't want to do the whole loom I think that's overkill Too bad we can't just lay backpacks down. You know, just place them. It'd be nice. To, why do I do that? I'd like to hit the empty boxes for some reason. That's an idea for the glade. See, and I want to put maybe one or two of those around. I think one's probably enough. Okay. You know what? That'll take up some space in one of the shelving. Two of the shelving. I don't know if you saw Jasper, but I put out a video on the uh, invisible stairs. It's fantastic, man. It looks so good. It's, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What of these would look good? I don't know. The pitchers would. Like, maybe, maybe a bowl. I'm already filling myself up, aren't I? All right, books. We'll do you and you. All right, we're full. Yeah, it turned out really well and, and gave me some more ideas of what we can do with the invisible stairs. You can actually, if you're careful... So, let's say it's on this side. I could hide the Athenors in the wall behind that side and actually make a staircase that you literally can't see on this side. Uh, five hours ago. Four, sorry, four hours ago. I just posted it to YouTube. And, uh, that, that could be... That really could be something that could look good. Aw, you jerk. It goes up higher? Aww. Here I was hoping that would be the, a good bottom level, but I'm wrong. Well, we've been needing some for, something for this mantle. Yeah, forget about that. 
Here, I'll just jump up on the light, maybe. No, can't do that either. Alright, fine. We'll get to Hammer. Let's go this, go to that. That's nice, I like that. Gives us something to put up on the mantle, have it sticking over a little bit, kind of looks cool. Now, these bowls, I think we can use... Well, that side's actually good. I think we can use these to fill some space and make it look alright. Yeah, I'm not against that at all. Alright, let's get up here. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, let's go. Put one there. One there. What else do we got? Did I put any... Oh, you know what I didn't put? These guys. I don't think I have any of these. Okay. It'd be kind of cheeky to put it right there, because it is a corner, but then you'd have to walk around it. I don't know. Can we do that? Let's see. Because that would be the perfect spot for it, right? We got it right in the corner. It helps to confuse the eye. I could even take some books out from behind to save space. Let's see if we can get past it. I don't dislike that at all. Place it on a stool. Well, we got plenty of those around here. Just gotta find one. Um. Oh, right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> Damn it. Let me get the stool. <laughs> okay. Alright. Get you back. Ooh, careful with this. Alright. So this is going to be kind of like... We'll do this a little funky and then put that on... Like that? Alright. Oh, pull it back some. Let's uh, if I can if I can get that, let's move that over a little bit. If I go into build mode, use the really. Kind of works, sort of. I mean, I think that's just because it's right there in front of me. Let's see, let's see if it works over here. Well, here, let's try to pick up that right now. Oh, do I have any space? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it kind of works. Alright, so now that that's moved, kind of like, I like it. Yep, I like the stool. Alright, let's make sure we still get past. It bumps you a little bit, but I'm not worried about it. It really gives it the illusion that that's not a door now. Of course, now it seems like I got a little too much crammed on that level, but that's alright. I'd rather have it look like there's too much crammed on than there's not enough stuff. Oh, right. Might have to do that beforehand, but let's try. 
Yeah, it's gonna be a problem. Okay. I like it. I like that look. It's fancy. Okay. That's better. Switch books to this. Get back up on this. Okay, and let's pop another right here, right up near that one. So those all look pretty good. This side over here is still a little light. Two more books, okay. Maybe we'll put one right here too. I mean, I have like four left of these. What the hell was that? Do you see that glow that popped right there? Yeah, you're, uh, you're talking Agent Forty Seven and all that stuff. I have not played it. Um, uh, I'll take that back. There. Were, okay, hang on a second. I want to say there was one. Um, yes, I have played a part. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the scene that I did, and I'm trying to remember which one it actually was. So I. Oh, I got the another one of those uh, scientific instruments. How about we put it up here? Should we put it up there? Let's put it up there, because this doesn't have a lot of stuff. Um, okay. God dang. I'm trying to remember this now. It has been so long. So I had to go into... I think it was like... Um, a garage. It was two stories. It definitely had cars in front of it. And like a garage door open. And, you know, dudes roaming around. Whatever I needed was on the second floor... That's that's about all I can remember. I yeah, I I can't really remember too much more than that. Oh yeah yeah, we were gonna do this. We we're gonna change this over. Oh and and, let's put one of these downstairs. So maybe the better answer is kinda but not really, played Hitman. Hey, you're starting to grow up. Any more? We're starting. It's coming along. We're getting there. All right, so she had a seed bed. Maybe it'd be right over here. Like, maybe. Let's see. Where we get and placed it in an eleven hitman contracts to be read. Story like like you actually wrote the story or story are we talking about for the game? I don't know how that works. Okay, where would this be if we had this? Would she be doing her work kind of chilling back here? Nice. Um how about just kind of right here, and then we'll put the fences behind it once all this stuff grows.
Oh, have we grown yet? No. Nope, not enough of that tree's grown yet. Okay, let's go look at our... Uh... I'll have to do something else with this. Maybe we'll put a couple potted plants beside it too. Gotta go look at our, our little seating area. Besides the game story missions, player should create... Oh, now I see what you're saying. Okay. A player created contract... All right, let's just nuke all this stuff. Okay, let's get this out of my damn bag. Specify targets. So, so I mean, you're basically just building quests, essentially, right? You're just, you're basically doing, you're, you're, yeah, you're creating quests. Okay, so if we did this, let's see how we do this. Little, little two way jobby going on. That is the seat, technically. There's one there. And this is the loom. It's all technical like this. We could do this and put a chair here. Oh, we still need to go get... Um, we still need to go get another one of those iron candelabras. Okay, but if I put this like this, I'm not going to want this one right here. Let's move this. Maybe... Man, this is tough. How do we want to set this up? I need a rug, too. Okay, so logically, you would come over, you would sit here, work the pedal. I don't know, maybe this does look right, right here. Turn it a little bit more. Maybe we'll put this right against the edge, and then we'll put the candelabra in between them. The candelabra right here. Then we'd have a char. Kind of kind of knobby. I'm going to have to get a uh, table. Can I place anything on these? I probably can't. Yeah, it's weird. You can, it doesn't work right. Let's just stick it there. Okay. Let's go get a candle. Let's put a, some of this stuff back. I have way too much crap in here. I don't have space for all this stuff. Okay, backpack's full. Let's go. You know what? For right now, might as well use the space I have. done with those for now. We'll keep that one. Keep all the rest of that stuff. And we need to go get a candelabra. She definitely needs some kind of a rug, kind of like this. Actually, maybe we'll just take this for now.
That looks about right. Right, right sizing for it. I can dig it. Maybe uh, put a little bit of decor. I don't know, maybe she'll maybe she'll want a little wolfy. I should have done it the other way. We got a wolf there already. Okay. We not have over here. Oh, a snake. Do a snake. Just a little sum sum. One second, I need a drink. <coughs> I can dig this little space. I like it. It works. We got a nice space over here. We got a cool plant growing there. We're going to let the uh, downstairs cook for a little while. I guess I'll just leave the bed. The only other way to do it is take two beds and merge them together. Um, since we only have one double bed. I love the bathroom. The bathroom turned out great. I don't really have anything to put on that shelf though. Because we can't put uh, cloth items or anything cool like that. Alright, so this is all good. That's all good. I like all of that. There's nothing in my bag that will help me with anything else. So we'll call this good for now. This is just really going to need like banners. Oh, right. We need books in here too. <clears throat> and items. And I still need to get all this crap out of here. There we go. And I still need books in here, too. Okay. We're coming in on the finish line with the King and Queens area. That makes me happy. And there's some stuff I can use. Let's put the candelabra... Um, we'll keep them for now. No, because I'm running low on space. I still might use some more of those. I need to see the others grow first, so I see what I'm doing with them. Alright, so... Need a couple of these things. I don't know if I put anything on the king's desk yet. We could put a stool in the bottom of one of those tall of this one. Alright, I need a bunch of books and I need a rug. I think she would have a fancy carpet for her sitting room and then we can move the this guy back to the his desk. I think that'll work fine. Uh, I've already done those in there. I th oh, I've actually already done all this in there, I think. Let's take all that. Okay. And then... Yeah, uh, it is. I so I so And I'm, no, I'm no longer happy with it anymore. So I used to use pretty exclusively Razor. This is the Basilisk. And... For the longest time, I wouldn't use anything but a Razor Mouse. Uh, but I, I've been so disenfranchised with their stuff for like the last probably five years or so. Uh, my first Razor Mouse was Death Adder. 
and then I moved on to the the hex had both generations of those both of them had the bad laser and it just sucks now my keyboard has a little bit of volume to it but it is the quietest keyboard it's the d55 Corsair it's a quite oh, wrong way it's the quietest one you you can purchase but it certainly oh yeah I didn't put one on here it certainly wouldn't hurt me to have uh, there, there's something new. There's something new that's not mechanical, but it's not like, you know, shit keyboard. And I can't think of what it is. He's both the same size? They are. So let's put one of these down here so, like, he has a stool to get up to the higher spaces. I should have thought about that over in the other rooms. But, yeah, it's one of those things, kind of a work in progress kind of thing. Um, I will be changing... Changing stuff over as I get time and funds so that it's less uh, less cumbersome. Let's do... Oh yeah, still got that. We'll put some things over there. The other thing, I so I tried, so I have OBS, and I did try to set all the, there there was this guide I used that has all the various settings that allows you to turn down certain aspects and, and set it so that, you know, this thing isn't loud and that thing is loud. Every time I did it, the more I tried to tweak the volumes of various things, all it did was turn the entire volume of the video down. And it just ended up making it a pain in the ass to where I had to turn it all up. And then once I turned it all up, then the volumes were all messed up again. I'm like, God damn it. So part of that probably stems from the fact that I don't have a professional microphone. That's my own fault. I'm still using a headset, which is a fairly decent headset, but uh, still using a headset. Could be better for sure. And we have a spot for a jewelry box. We do. I already have one down there. Let's put that down there for space. And then I guess we'll go back and put it up here. All right. So that space is good. Ah, oh, damn you. Well, that's staying there, because there's I, probably not going to be able to easily pick that thing out. <laughs> A pop filter and software filter would clear up the mouse. I mean, I can look into it. Uh, oh, I did it again. How did I do it right the last minute? Because I couldn't get the... all Of all the settings in OBS, I could not get it to... Uh, Without just nuking the whole, the volume of the whole damn thing. And it just ended up annoying me. But I can all, I, I'm certainly willing to give it a try. Because I, I do agree. It's loud. I, I hear it when I make my videos. Uh, when I'm going to put them up on YouTube. I can hear the clicks. Especially when I made the... The, uh, the trailer for my Halloween contest. The spooky trailer. I definitely noticed the volumes then. Or the clicking, I mean. Okay, so can we get it under there? Nice. Very, very nice. How about you? Let's see, maybe a little bit more this way. I think I can dig it.
All right. All good there, all good there. Bedside book, maybe. Now I can't see anything. Of course not. Man, that la that last little like flip, right? Did you see that right down there? That like. Weird little glow. I wonder... Oh, I wonder. Is that one of the trees growing? I should go down and look. To see see if, like, that was one of the... the... I saw it again, right there. Them doing one of their, their phases of growth. I mean, honestly, could it have even been these guys popping? Or any of these plants that now seem to have all grown? Almost. This one isn't yet. All the rest are. I do want to put one here. Let's do like... Let's do like a saffron here. And I was going to get a couple potted flowers, too. I'll have to remember to bring one of those down. All right, so once this tree gives us enough space, we'll put the fence here and here just to cordon off the, the nasty growth. There's some lighting coming out of the ground down in there. Oh, so just random in the ground then. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. It's been a while since I've actually properly dug down. I tend... I have tended lately to just take over pre-existing buildings. That's kind of been my... Like, what I did with the Halloween contest, uh, the Troll Bridge. It's kind of been my shtick is just taking over existing buildings and making them my own. All right, I think we're good for in here. I think this is good enough. It needs a few banners and stuff, but it is good enough. And we got our books in here. Yep, we need that. All right, so how do we want to do this? We could do it the same. I'm not against that. Okay, so then it comes up from there. Yeah, that's cool. I'm, I'm cool with that. If I can reach it, I'm cool with it. Oh, I forgot to do the down part. And one more. I think that's going to get in the way on this side, though.
Wait a minute. How is it so different? Because I, I'm one short over here. Okay. That's fine. There we go. Yep, that mirrors that. All right. So that gives us a nice thing. We'll maybe put like a banner right here or something. So that's cool. Over there, we're going to put another balcony of sorts. So let's work on this part. Do I have enough space to do? Okay, so do we want to do... Do we want to do the same wooden platform as this? I think that makes more sense than stone. Oh god, it's a lot of stuff to move. Okay. That's a lot of stuff to move. I don't let me do the carpets correctly. Because I just kind of shoehorn them in at the end. What are you doing? Alright, now for this mess that I have to... Oh, and i got to redo these too. It was a nice idea, but I don't love it. Okay. So let's come out to there. Does that go back too far? It does. Let's just uh, chop it. Alright. So that gives me the right space. Well, here. Now we got to get all these things off. Oh, for the ability to pick things up that are on things. So, like, if I put if I put all this stuff on here, I would like to be able to pick up the table, and everything that's attached to it stays with the table, and then I can move the whole unit. So, okay, instead of, so we have a pick up. Instead of pick up, we also have move as an option. Move doesn't let us put it in our bags. Move doesn't let us change any of our actions like we can't change to two or anything we have to move a find a new spot for it drop it down or it won't let us out of it if they give us that option that would be fantastic okay before we do this though I need to see where I'm at here I should be back a little bit so it's prominent maybe That's a little better. And then kind of... Like you? I can dig it. Now, let's get this guy in here. Actually, let's put the candelabras in first. Now we can put these guys in. There's another game that I play recently that has that option. I'm trying to think which one it is. It'll move with everything attached to it. But only move. If you do anything else, it, uh, it, it becomes, you know, pack everything up and then you got to do it all at once. I'm trying to think what it is. I don't think it's Forever Skies, but maybe it's Forever Skies. 
All right. So now we have our king and our queen. I mean, they're sitting a little bit far away from the table, but well, we'll see what we can do about that. Get that back just a little bit more. All right, now we got to decorate it all over again. All right, so they need plates. And I want to say we did this kind of in the middle too. Like one for grapes, one for, uh, what are they called? Um, just regular fruits. Oh, did I have two of them on this? I might have had two, huh? Imagine placing strawberries and nuts in a bowl. Like like you can, sort of, in Valheim, you do it a little differently, but you can do that. Yeah, that'd be great. I, it would be amazing. And that just goes back to the Builder's Companion. The Builder's Companion has some of... Oh, I remember what I did has some of that option. I put them on those. Wow, am I going to be able to pick up just that one? <sighs> Alright. Oh, is that it? Nope, that's not. That's the whole table. That's the whole table, God damn it! Come on, can we, can we get it? Alright, let's try the trick. Hot damn. It worked. Of course, these are kind of encroaching. That's alright. Got it good enough. It works. So now they have a little more prominence because they're up on this platform. That makes more sense. So now this damn thing. I think I'm kind of alright with it being a... Uh, an angle, but it needs to come this way because it's clipping into the stairs. Well, it's a little better. Oh man, doing these things with the same decoration I've done in here. That's going to be interesting. I guess not every room has to be like that, though. We'll leave that for now. We, we need to, we need to ha have, have a talk. We need to have a talk with this space over here and have it tell us what the hell it wants. Barracks. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Is is like like this side's the barracks. And of course, because they it is a barracks, they would have various 
things that they can do over here. Ooh, we need to figure out if we can make some kind of like a... I know we don't have uh, target dummies, but something along those lines, if we can figure something out, use the scarecrows and some of the heads and stuff like that. I mean, they won't actually be, but we can make it look like with... If we use the... the um, like the wooden fencing, the, the kind of janky stuff, we might be able to make it look like you have lanes where you would be firing at them. I don't know if we... Let's see, we gotta see, look at our stuff and see if we can find something that looks kind of like a target that you would shoot arrows. And then what we could do is have at one end... Think of like bowling lanes, but instead you have a scarecrow with like a, a head that's a denizen of the of the shroud or something and dress it up with some armor and stuff like that and then you have at the other end the fore end instead of aft end you would have uh, your, your weapons on their stands ready for you to go and attack the whatever thing it is you're attacking as a target dummy we could try to see if we can make up something like that All right, I think we're far enough in. We can switch to the big boy. We also need to go down. So I like the idea of the one step down, just like we did over there on this side as well. So... All right, so we come in, we one step down, we do some things. Somewhere's gonna have to be a staircase, or more than one staircase, going down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's be a little careful with that wall there, buddy. I'm curious about something. Uh, we need to go outside and see where the cliff is in relation to the boundary of the base. I'm sure it's really far. Boy, that's a long way. I don't know if I want to dig that much. Because we're like... We've dug in like... Let's see, we're down there, there, probably to about... We're probably over here somewhere, like under where I'm standing. I don't think I want to go that far. I, it doesn't make it that far anyway. So we couldn't if we wanted to. Okay. Alright, so that solves that problem. It'd have been interesting to have it go to where it pokes out the the cliffside, but not at the top, obviously, it'd be underground. It just for some kind of extra I don't know, some flavor to it, but it's so far that I've already got a huge ass build in here. I don't want to keep going forever and cause it to be such low FPS on this that nobody can play it. Okay, so let's see. So we come in. One thing is we need to get over there to that balcony. We also need to define this space and see what really we're going to do with it.
Do I get any higher right here? Probably not without going up. A little bit. Yeah, not much without going up anymore. Okay. Okay, so now let me think here. So we come this direction. Would it immediately be barracks? Probably we'll have some kind of um, holding cell-ish area over here. I don't know if we want to call it a prison. Maybe we will call it a prison. Maybe it'll be a prison. I still need to figure out what kind of like... Ooh, ah, uh, you know... The king's addressing everybody or whatever is going to be there. If not, that's going to be that. And then we need to decide what we're doing with down there. Maybe we do nothing with down there. Maybe we just kind of level it a little bit, put some of the blue growth down there, and we just call it a day. Considering how much we've already done could do that. Okay, so that's all complete. Time for some more light. Where's it doing it? Where's it coming through? I didn't break through the ceiling, did I? Just one of those rogue... I guess it's just one of those. Well, it'll be that from that direction. Must be just a weird rogue random light, cause I don't see any perforation. I do see we need to fix that portion on this side, like we did with the other one. All right, back to blowing through the wall.
Okay, it's pretty flat, so for right here. Alright. Let's come down there. We could come in here to hmm, maybe a bathroom on this side. Because we don't have one yet, and then you'd have a bathroom right across from where the banquet hall is. We could do some kind of a like a more grand library over here. I would think, like, housing type stuff wouldn't be your main level. Like, if we're considering this our main level, we come down, right, you get your banquet stuff over there, whatever. I feel like this would be more your services. So if we're going to do some kind of a... I, I don't know what we're going to call it. I mean, because we don't have target dummies. But, you know, if we're doing something like that, I think... There we go. I think it makes sense to have it more in this kind of a space than having it in... What the hell is this? Oh, that's the fence coming through. Then having, like, those in the down... And then you would go down to living quarters because that would be, in my mind, secondary to the services that are needing to be provided. So maybe this whole space is our training area. We could have a bathroom off from it. We have a... What about a mannequin with a... Uh, with ragged armor? Oh, you mean as the, as the target dummy? No, for sure. I want to go... Let's go look at the... I don't know why I went this way. I could have gone through the floor, but whatever. So we could do... I wish we could do pose it. I mean... Because, like, this one works fine. But I feel like these guys in different poses... I mean, that's, that's kind of cool, too. You know, he's like, Oh, he's going to get you! You better attack him. Yeah, for target practice, right. Let's, uh... Let's have a, a, a couple different... Like, that one's definitely going to try to fight you. And they wouldn't have to all be in rags. We'll have a couple of these, because we'll have some armor sets set up. Right, and then, um... I think if we're going to have a range, we're definitely going to have, you know, we're going to have a bow or two bows sitting there on a rack waiting to be used. More like training level bows. They wouldn't be your high-end, high-dollar type stuff. Uh, a wand, wand practice, yeah. Maybe we just do one of those. Do a couple different types of the two-handers. Stuff like that, I think, better than wall. Maybe we'll do it all floor. And then we do, like, like more basic weapons. You know, stuff that looks more basic. Like this... These kinds of things look more like training weapons than a bow that looks like it's on fire and stuff like that. Even though these are legendaries. Well, let's see. Now let's just do one of each of these. So those are, those are some target practice ones. And then, well, we are the Hollow Halls after all, so maybe we'll do... A big two-hander and let's get a wand that is also of the hollow halls but let's do oh but this looks so fancy 
This looks more like a practice wand, or this even. Hmm. I don't remember. Is there a Hollow Hall's bow? Yeah, there sure is. Okay, let's take this instead of that, maybe. Alright, I guess, I mean, it is a little fancy, but I guess we'll go ahead and use that. And then we'll have one extra. For right now, just so we can get some idea of kind of what we're looking at. Totally, it's not going to be a cave, but I just need some light to see what the hell I'm doing. To get some idea. So... Okay, first, you know what, I should have gotten some fencing, but we'll just do this for right now, just to get an idea. So, like, my thought process on this is... Like with bowling, you have... I need to learn how to place fencing down, apparently. Alright, so something like that. And then... At the end, you have... Oh, we forgot to get any kind of, like, armor for him. We'll even have one dude that's kind of, like, neutral in the middle. Friend or foe, which one do you attack? And then, of course, we'd have a few armor sets for them to grab. Well, let's do them on this side. So then, because we're, you know, doing attacking and stuff, we'd have... So, like, maybe over here, there'd be a space to have ver a variety... Well, let's see. I don't know. Right now, let's just do it like this. Turn snapping off. Thank you. I swear, every time I grab one, I end up grabbing, like, seven. Or two, but you know what I mean. Because I swear I only grabbed one. And I still have one. Unless that's doing the duplication bug. Okay. And then, maybe we have a wand one over here. Oh, this holds two? I didn't realize it holds two. Shit, I don't know which one it is. I don't want to give them mine. I mean, I'll know which... I'll know after I put it on there. Let's try the one that's not... Okay, good. I didn't realize you could put two up there. I'll have to put another one on. And then, of course, you gotta have some bows. Maybe it's kind of like... So yeah, I mean, you can imagine something like this. I would use the wooden fences, not these. They're too fancy. And have a little bit of gear on them. Maybe we even go as far as put one of the heads it would have a plaque though so I don't know if I want to do that uh, but put a little bit of gear on them and you can come up you can we can put a bucket right next to this that would look like it has that would have for arrows and you come in you grab your bow and shoot him or grab a wand do some target practice 
it wouldn't have this layout, obviously, but something like this. So some kind of a practice room where you can... And I think I'd only do two. I, I think this guy I wouldn't do. Put him over, maybe over with these guys so it can be actually... Uh, apparently he's in timeout or something. So like sets of armor, your practice stuff, go and attack. You know what we need? We need spears. I'm surprised we don't have that or pole arms or something like that. I mean, I know we have the like... Yeah, no arrows. I thought we did have a real crappy... No, I guess not. I thought the first weapon was a really crappy spear. I guess not. Uh, yeah, spears would be cool. And then get big halberds. I mean, that's kind of what this thing is. But yeah, this could work. We could do something like this. And then maybe... I, I like the idea of like maybe having a bathroom off to the side. And then we would come down, come this way maybe to a slightly more grand staircase that keep the same height and looks down over the next level below it. And maybe that's where we have, um, ooh, yeah. So we have a bar and some seating, but the, but it's all like less fancy stuff. So we, we, the idea being this is where the king entertains guests, but your regular folk, they eat over here. You know, the, the regular army and uh, um, whoever eat over here, so they'd have a little, like a, like a tiny little kitchen with a bar, and that's their place to, yeah, I like that. And then down from that, another level, which would be kind of below this end, would be your housing. So that'd be your barracks. Barracks could also lead to some form of a, like, brig, prison type thing. And then we come down to this bridge. I'm thinking we come down through this space. It makes good use of it and keeps the brig bridge fairly intact. I mean, intact is an uh, interesting word. Keeps us from, like, coming through the wall and making more spaces because, like, it's going to get a little crowded if we have too much more going on down here. So I like that idea. Let's see. Let's actually... Let's create our space that direction. What did I use up that was there? Oh, I just moved those. Okay. Okay, so let's see. It's got to be a decent amount back. It's going to be like this. And I think it'd be fairly good size too. Like this is going to be a no door, just a, a like a big entrance. And then going this way. Being careful we don't break through to this space, because we don't want to actually see that. Switch over to the big boy.
Okay, let's look at our depth here. I think that's probably far enough that once we get to the level, we'll know where we're at. Still broke through. Damn it. All right, that should be good enough, and that'll be a nice section. We'll we'll fancy this up a little bit to make it look nicer, but that'll be a a nice way to get through. Something like that, maybe. Okay. So that'll give us our level. Alright. So now we got to set what, some idea of what we're going to do in here. I do need to come this way some more to accommodate some form of a uh, like a bathroom type of space over here. It's so weird when you, you're using this to dig with, every once in a while it just stops responding. And it doesn't want to delete the block you just placed. I, I, don't, I can't explain it, it just like stops. It's like, nah bro, I'm good. be good enough. Let's see what we think here. I'm try I'm thinking about what I'm picturing here is making <laughs> bathroom stalls. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to make them. It's probably going to be more similar to how bathroom stalls are in Europe and whatnot, where unlike the United States, where we have these thin ass little pieces of metal and all the space underneath, and it's oftentimes like a, an actual wall that has tile on both sides goes straight down and then you have a, a good full door in the front. I don't know how I would do the door other than like real doors, which I could do. It wouldn't have to be fancy. It could just be a wood door. And then we have a toilet inside of it. And then outside, so like you would come around and you'd have some variety of stalls and then maybe at one end you'd have a set a bank of sinks or something like that maybe okay so let's take a look in here let's come in we come in okay so let's look at where we want to separate this let's change Alright, so let's look at... I think that's far enough this direction. And then here, just like maybe just a touch further, we'll start going down. 
with the the uh, stairs probably in the middle and we'll have like a, a short little balcony overlooking with some railing so this whole thing will be our whatever we're calling this uh, range the the practice range Okay, so that's our start. Probably put... Okay. Probably put some window in that, and then I need to do this. It's there. Let's bring it down for... A little more intimacy. Open it up a little bit more. Mm, it's a little narrow to have the inset. All right, so we come in. It seems awful narrow. I think I'm gonna have to come back further. It just seems awful narrow. Because we're gonna have to build, so something like... Okay. So imagine you've got... Yeah, we're gonna have to go back more. Because the door has to be able to open and have space in it. Yeah, okay. All right, we'll just go back more. I think that'll give us more room. All right, let's put in. We're gonna do. We're gonna keep with this color for the walls. Front and back. All right, let's bring in, change that, change that. Change that, and then we're gonna pop right behind this. There we go. You know what? I should change this over to the tile like we do in the other spaces. I think it'll look nicer. change immediately I think so I just I like that tile look in bathrooms and kitchens it looks nicer
Okay. Let's get this underdone because if we don't, it'll do a weird thing at the end with the tile. Okay. All right. No, 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 that's not right. What the hell? What's this? There we go. Oh, that goes up a level. No wonder it's like that. There we go. Okay. Now we need to switch to the right stuff. There we go. And I think, too, at one end, so maybe this end here, uh, we can have, like, s several uh, showers. I think that makes uh, good sense to have over here. Uh, welcome in for those who I didn't notice. I apologize. Sometimes I get a little busy building and I'm not paying attention to those folks coming in, so welcome. All right, back to this flavor. There we go, and this. And we're gonna build this back wall here. I need to chunk out some more. Should be good. All right, here we go. Let's go there. does this. There we go. And the floor. I see what it's doing. Okay. Go back to this and then we're going to go plonk. Well, I saw what it's doing, but I didn't fix what it was doing. It's always weird when it leaves these just little bit bits there. All right. Let's get some actual <laughs> light going in here so we can see better. All right, can I have you back? Thank you. All right. So, like showers over here, we'll do some stalls there, and I think we'll do sinks here, and then this will be like the hall that you walk down. I think that works pretty well. So, now that we got, oh, ceiling, right? I'm going to have to go up for ceiling.
All right, so let's do this same ceilings. For... No, I need to go. Well, no, not really. This in here doesn't need to be so high. This can be a little more intimate. In fact, that's a really good point. That's a bathroom. We don't need like 30 foot ceilings in a bathroom. Let's just go up as high as I can reach. And I think that should be more than high enough for a bathroom. <laughs> yeah, 30 feet. <laughs> What's up, Clay? Uh, I mean... <laughs> I don't think they need to be that damn high, but it still is pretty high. You're, you're not wrong. Alright. So in reality, wh what do you think we're at? We're probably like 5 feet high, so... I don't know, it's like a 16 or 17 foot ceiling. Something like that. Alright, so we're going to do... I don't even know if I want the stalls to be that tall. I think more like that. And I want them in this. So that's something I need to figure out. How much space do I want for like sinks and stuff? Probably good there. Alright, so now a door. What do we need? I mean, this is a doorway right there. Except, not really... Yeah, that's way too wide. Let's see. Door. Come, you sit down. Do I even care about that that much? So, doors one, two, three, four wide, I believe. Puts it like that. One, two, three, four. There. There. So then showers here, three stalls, sinks here. And then right in here. I think that'll work. Then we'll put... Uh, Oh, yeah. I don't know exactly how many showers we're going to get there. I mean, it doesn't have to necessarily be showers with privacy. We're giving them privacy for when they do the dirty thing, but we don't have to give them privacy when they shower, I guess. And then sinks. It's going to be a pretty big freaking bathroom. It's like a movie theater bathroom in here. I think this is too much space. Unless we... We need to figure out... No, I got it. I was going to like, we need to figure out how to do lockers... We can do lockers. We just stack a couple boxes with, uh... You know, have that. We st uh, stack the box to where it's right out. And then we got lockers. That's fucking genius. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put lockers along here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Except I do want to bring this out. I think I'm gonna bring it out one more. Okay, now, for the top, I see a door's only this high. Is that right? I'm, I'm, no, can't be. Maybe. Four seems awful big. Let's go grab a damn door so I just stop going, uh, is it, is it, I don't get it. I'm stupid because I have a door in my back pocket. Do I want a door that fancy to a bathroom stall. Let's get a door that's not super duper fancy. Because I feel like the king's not going to be spending all that kind of money to have like the fanciest doors in the kingdom on someone's shitter. Stone door might be cool though. 
Might look cool too. Yeah, I don't think they'd have copper doors for sure. Maybe his shitter. Well, so they they have a nice one. I don't know if you saw it. I'll I'll go back and show you here in a second. They have a real nice one. Like they have a they have a swanky one. I'm thinking this carved wooden door for the bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking this one. Oops, missed. Wank. Yeah, no, the king and queen have a... Uh, by the way, we, I got a bunch of work done on that. I got this thing fleshed out mostly. Pretty nice. Got our stuff. Uh, his office is better. I need some, some other stuff. But yeah, this thing's... I don't know how much you saw, but this thing is way better now. She's even got a little uh, knitting center. But yeah, this is the king and queen's bathroom. Double shower heads, uh, floor drains, an actual copper tub, double sinks. They got they got the works in here. They've got got their own little change room, which I can't put anything in there. But yeah. Oh, we need to take a look while we're over here. We need to take a look at the uh, trees. See how they're growing down here. Okay, okay. Well, you've gotten a little bigger. Okay, you're all getting a little bigger. Now it's it's definitely more glade-like now. It's getting there. Now let's see if I can put my things up here now. Or if this is still going to be a jerk. It's still being a jerk. So it still has more to grow. So there's another stage for that tree still. I think it's coming along quite nicely. Sorry, one second. Alright, looks like all of our plants are pretty much grown. Yeah, this is coming along nicely. Still got a few more stages of those trees. I I think we'll be alright. I don't think we're going to have too much of a concern with the trees growing up through and all of a sudden we have a bush in our bed from the top of the tree. I think we'll be alright. All right, let's take a look at these doors and see what we think. No, I'm dead on. Yeah, no, no, I think I like that. Now that works great. And you come in and you got a pooper and there you go. We'll put like a, like a chandelier right over top of each one so they have some light. Hmm. Curious, sir. So, should I inset the door one? I think it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Nah, I'm not going to inset the door. There we go. Alright, so we got our, uh, we got our stalls. I'm going to have to go get a whole bunch of boxes to make the uh, wall lockers. We need three shitters and we need some sinks. Probably um, like at the end of the wall lockers maybe we'll have a bench, one of the wooden benches or the stone bench that they can sit and like, you know, put on their shower shoes, take um, shower shoes we're talking about. Freaking uh <laughs> dudes that live in a hollow wall, I doubt they have shower shoes, but you know what I mean. So they can come over here and then jump on these showers that we'll put in here in a minute. And then we'll dress this space up a little bit. Yeah, it's coming along. I like it. I like those doors. They look good that way. 
All right, so this space I think is good in volume two. And I think I want to do up here. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Maybe over here would be fairly simple. Just a four square. Seems like an awful lot. Mm. Four seems like an awful lot, but let's take a look here. Let's can I just do this? If I can reach it. Okay, so let's go back up to this one, go down to this one. I don't hate it. It's interesting that it goes all the way to the ceiling in here. I just just barely made it out of that one. All right. It's kind of cool. All right, let's go get some toilets. Let's get some, uh, we need to look at the different boxes. I want one that's got a lot of the metal on it because I want something that's gonna represent what a wall locker, you know, when you go into a, like a gym or something and you've got lockers in there, something that really represents that pretty well. Let's get these, I don't need these doors now. And we need some showers. Let's put three of them in there. No tub for those guys. And, oh man, should we give them good sinks or... Hmm. I feel like they probably wouldn't have fancy sinks. I mean, they got a fancy shower. But I feel like they wouldn't have fancy sinks over there. Let's give them not fancy sinks. So three showers, three shitters, three sinks. All right, that should work. And then let's go take a look at what we can get for the boxes. I think it's going to be the large box because this, I feel like, doesn't have enough metal. Whereas this has a crap load of metal. And if I stack two on top of each other, I think that'll actually look like and represent what a wall locker is. Whereas this is just all wood. That one, I mean, I do like the look of the medium, but I, th I think I'm going to do large. So we got, it's okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, apparently we're doing six right now and we're going to come back. For those who haven't seen this, this is, uh, <laughs> right above this is the part of the hollow hall where I have the, the, it's like the grow room. And so I had these chains coming down, just, they were just into rock before, but I wanted to connect the undergrounds. And so this comes right onto that and I made it look like it was a, like a landslide. You got a big ass rock right down there in the ground. You got this one that came down and we got all the scaffolding holding it up and they, they had to cut a hole, dig a hole through the side wall because you, cause it's too dangerous to walk along here anymore. Just, I don't know, something to be different to, to make it look a little cooler.
All right. Let's see what this wall locker idea is going to look like. First off, what in the hell am I doing? That's what I want. I'm going to do these for just a moment because I need more light. While I'm working. Okay. So I'm thinking we start them here. Because of the size, let's use this material. Four. That's one box. Two boxes. Okay, so how is this going to look? So we have it to where it just sticks out like that. Oh wow, I messed that up entirely. How the hell did I screw that up that bad? I'm usually pretty good at getting them dead on. I really messed that up. It's still off, but it's better. Wow, they don't sit right on top of each other, do they? There's a gap. Now the only problem is, I don't think I want to have this portion almost like maybe I should have... Okay, let's let's take a look at this. First, let's do... Let's do it as if we have that space to... Then go up this way. All right, so let's look at, see what this actually looks like if we do it just that way. Come out till it's off. There. Well, let me from here. Probably not, but let's take a look. Okay. That's not terrible. It's not terrible. So let's take the middle out and let's see what we think. Get this out of our way. So what if I didn't have this portion? I don't know. Okay, so what if I didn't have it on both sides? I just had the bottom and the top, maybe? I kinda like that. Of course, the other option is to use something like the iron block. Okay, so let's do... Of course, now it's off because I started over there. I'll have to fix that, but... So this is one, two, three, four. So we have one in the middle. Oh, it's gonna be off no matter what. Let's try something here. I don't know that that's going to look as good. I don't know. Let's drop one down. I can't drop one down. Okay, let's drop something else down. Something else I can stand on.
Yeah. I d yeah, I don't like that as much. I like this better. I still don't know if I like it with the sides on or with the sides off. But I definitely don't like the iron. The iron just seems weird. But I like the double. I think the double works really well. Then we would split one and do a double there. And it's going to be off no matter how we do it, which sucks. That way I have a little more space over here. And so then this side needs to come over one. So we just need to move all that there, and then we've got our toilets. Oh, I need to go get a cabinet. We'll leave these here, give us enough, whoa, hi, give us enough space so we can put a cabinet behind it. It just looks better that way. And then sinks. I'm probably gonna build the sinks into a cabinet, like a some kind of a wall cabinet. Just to give them a little bit more something or other. And I'll probably put some shelving or something there because it would be like your linen and all that. And then the showers. We're gonna put them in here, but we're gonna sink them down on the ground so that you don't see that part there. So it'll be something like that that will sink them down to where you don't see this base, just like we did with the king and queen. So we'll have three showers, three toilets, three sinks, and four wall lockers, because three isn't going to work quite well. I need two more of the boxes, so let's do these. All right. Oh, I might have to put all of it in there because if I do it this way, it doesn't work quite as well. Maybe. I don't know that to be fully true. Let's find out. Idiot. That is not the right option. I want that instead. Okay. Now let's go back to this. Yeah, it's not quite right, but I could do this and then pull the bottom one out to the to the correct amount and have it work like that. That way I don't have to do all this shenanigans where I gotta put them all together, then take them all apart. And my, there we go. And then just kind of might actually be easier too. No, it's definitely not easier. Okay. <laughs> There we go. It's kind of a cool look. It does kind of look like wall locker. So let's go get two more of those. Uh, I need to look at like some benches and things because I need some stuff for the like for them to sit on and all that. Da, 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 da. All right, so we need two more. There we go. Let's put this other two-handed stand up. Okay. Let's look and see what we can do for benches. So we need one bench for sure over by the showers and I think that's probably going to end up just being a straight up crude bench yep I think we're just going to do straight up crude bench 
We don't need anything fancy. Okay, now. What can we build? I'm trying to think of something that I can place into the wall, goes all the way across the table tops for the sinks. So we have the under portion, but we have a solid piece going across. Maybe that. No, not palm wood. Oh, that would look dumb. We could dress it up with that. No, because I like that this doesn't have a centerpiece. So we're going to put all three of them within the center if it'll fit, if it'll work right. I got an idea. Where's it at? It's up in this one. We're going to put a fireplace in the wall. Okay, do we need anything else here? No. So now I need to see if there's anything... Something like this, maybe, for the... It could even be... Honestly, it could be that. I don't think it'd be regular wood shells. Covered. Definitely wouldn't be those. What if we did two of those with something in between, like this, maybe? Sink it into the wall a little bit so it just sticks out a little bit. Let's take a look and see, see what it, we can come up with. All right. So the idea on those is we'd have this, and this is going to be for like linens and toilet paper and all that stuff. With this, hmm, okay, this is in my way. Alright. And then... I don't know if I love it, but it works. It's something. Maybe have to put a shelf here in between them, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So then over here, first off, let's do this. Let's get snapping on. And let's see how tight these get together in comparison. I mean, I already like that fine, just like that. But what I want to know... Okay, I need to see what where we're at. Does it actually clip the bottom of it? It does. Which means then I would need to go down, and I would need to have the... Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I just don't like it. I almost like it better just like that. Except it's not against the wall, so I'm going to fix that. Okay. How about... We do exactly that. Just clip the back of it out. Clip over each other. Come 
Well, it's so hard to get them pixel perfect. All right. I can definitely dig that. Let's come in. You got your sinks. You got your toiletries. You got your whatever. Come over. You got your wall lockers. I can't see if I'm in the middle or not. All right, I'm gonna get it like this. I think that one turned out good enough that I would just leave it just like it is. Now, when these go over, I'm hoping I can fit the, oh, I can't fit it there because this is a single thick wall. I'd have to double thick this, which, meh. So, I think it's just one. No, it can't be one. It's got to be two. Yeah, it's two. Okay, so we go in until there's just... A little bit like that. Yeah, it's sweet. I like that. Okay, let's fix these guys. Right, I need to have something to stand on. Oh, I've got something to stand on. It's right here. Derp. Okay. Ooh, that's about as perfect as I want. I'm, I'm happy with that. Center's gonna be about that. Yep, pretty close. Now, so we come through just there. Yeah, I like it. All right, let's pick this bad boy up. Change you. Oh, we need this. Yes. We need to have a. Oh, we need to see where it's sitting to. Can you not sit on the basic bench, or did I literally have it backwards? I had it backwards. Okay. No. I have it backwards now? I hate this. We really need an arrow to tell us what's what. Okay, it's still backwards. All right. <laughs> okay, I give up. You suck. All right, let's. Oh, right. I need. Uh, I need to go get. What are they called? The wall things, those shelving. Now you get shelving. So I need two for sure, but I'll take three just in case. And let's put this table back.
Oh, let's put these books back too. Cleared my bags up a little. Alright, that's an open. That's a fatty. I need to look at snap points here. So snap point is here. Okay, so one, two. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to put blocks down there. For those of you that haven't done this technique before, essentially what I'm doing is I'm using the shelf because one single block down is too deep, this thing will go down way further than I need it to. So I use the shelf to get myself somewhere between a full block and the, the upstairs, the top. And you kind of have to just kind of play with it until you get it right. See, like this, I'm, I'm wasting a lot of opportunity there. I'm putting it down way further than it needs to be. So it needs to be raised up. That was something like that. So let's go to like there. Yep, that's that's good. That works perfect. All right, so where are we at? We're coming down like inch and a half or something. So now, snap on. Is about there. I'm kind of okay with it sitting like that instead of being into the wall. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with that. I need to come over here and remove. Oh, that's not going to work. I put too much other stuff in there. We're going to have to do it this way. This is the harder way to do this. But, so now you see it doesn't have that, that floor piece. And it's just high enough that we can get underneath it. So now let's do this again. Uh, let's go over one block. So that's there. One block over. One block over. Yep. And I'm only doing the the metal block down here because it's much easier to see because it has a pattern. So it's much easier to oops to see where I'm placing the uh, yeah. It helps if I can see what the hell I'm even doing. Uh, where I'm placing the showing okay so we were doing about, about that and unfortunately you do lose your shelving because there's no way to get it back well there's no easy way to get it back. I'm sure there is a way to get it back. But it's not easy. What do you mean you won't snap there? That was your problem. Oh, you're being jerk, huh? You're like, I'm going to be tight. We're going to be shower buddies. I mean, from a sightline perspective, that actually works. Oh well, that's good enough. Uh, 
Oh, that's not going to work either. Okay. Do it the hard way. There we go. Very nice. So we have our showers. We got a one bench. I'll probably get another one of the wooden benches and put it here and do a a um, square. Yes, I forgot to get the. Uh, okay, let's go get the cabinets because it looks way better doing that. And you'll see what I'm talking about once I get these. It's a weird little hiccup thing. It makes it look like. Hmm, what's it make it look like? Uh, like an. A okay, so a, a normal toilet, at least in America, normal toilet will have that uh, whole back reservoir section that sticks up over the top of the toilet. I know a lot of European toilets don't do that. Um, but that's what that makes it look like, and it looks really good. And I need to go down one block, okay. And you can choose to either do the front or the back. I like the front because it's got some decoration to it. And then I just kind of... Oh, it's stone down there. We're going to have to fix that. There we go. And I just kind of do it to where I have not too much of it sticking out, but some of it sticking out. Or maybe that. And this, you can either choose to have the thing so it looks like it has a seat, or you can come into where it doesn't look like it has a seat. I kind of like both for different reasons, so let's do that. So now, it looks like a nice fancy toilet. Nice fancy toilet and they got uh, <laughs> metal bowls for their sink. <laughs> We're jerks. Oh, I forgot to do something. Aw, oh, damn it. I can't do it now because I... Damn it. You know what? That looks alright. I'm not too worried about it. What I forgot to do is after I put this in there, I forgot to hit Y to put these back. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do that either because there's too many of them. Well, I guess we're just going to leave it like that. It doesn't look too bad. It looks normal. Okay, pop it in... Just like that. Almost kind of looks like it's properly made for it. Alright. And in we go. Very nice. Now if I could only figure out some machine that I could bury in a wall that made it look like you had a uh, roll of toilet paper. I have done this before. Which one did I choose? Let's go up and look at the machines. But I, I there's no way because I, there's, n there's nothing I have that I can only fit in a one depth thick wall. Alright, so that looks alright. Let's, uh... We'll close two of them. Two of them are in use. So now we need to do some kind of a lights. We can always put a light on the back of this. Let's go take a look and see what kind of lighting we want to do. Like, we could do these. 
just get a little bit of light in there nothing nothing fancy and then because we've used this in other places it would be appropriate to have some of those in there I don't know how bright it would be if I did it this way though set of fires I feel like they would have wall torches let's take a look and see what what these end up looking like Go ahead, pull these. No, maybe. All right. I think that's perfectly fine for the uh, bathrooms. Okay, so, if we had some overheads, kind of what would that look like? Would it be... Okay, what did we do? Like that. One over the shower area. And then one central, maybe? That's not really center, is it? That's center. Shower area is a little light on light, but it's not terrible. Could always Yeah, I'm not I think that'll work. Doesn't need to be crazy. I think I think that'll work just fine. I like these quote wall lockers. I think they looked looked turned out very well. So minus like you know decorations and all that kind of stuff, I think this room. You know what? One thing I do need to do though. Dress up these corners like I've been. Right, if I do that, it messes that up whole thing. And it's being a get off of there. And I like that. And I'm going to fix that now. Get it, get it. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Got it, all right. That gives us a little bit of uh, decoration. We can always do more later. But I uh, I think that's, uh, that's pretty good. So now we need to work on how we're gonna do this. We also need to go this direction. Grab a drink real quick. Do our grand staircase thingamajiggy, whatever we're doing. Okay.
this one. Nope. Oh. Let's go get some more block. And while we'll do it, we'll grab another one of the uh, wooden benches, because we need it for that one side. Okay, that'll work. Uh, let's... Let's grab a set of rags. We could always put rags on both of them for now, and then decide on something different later. The two, uh... The two nefarious dudes that we're using as target dummies. I think we could put a little bit less crappy, like we put the fur ar armor on or something. But whatever. It gets the point across. Um, go in this direction, because I need the wall. You're all my way. Right? We're stopping at that? Yep, that's where we're stopping. Okay. second. Okay. Up you go. Alright, are we stopping? We're stopping somewhere around here. So this in here, I'm totally fine with that ceiling height. I have no problem with this. We're going to put in this one, we're definitely going to have some beams and some columns for support. Then we'll come down this way and we'll come down some grand staircase here. Let's put in... No, 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 no. It's probably big enough. We go across right here. All right. So then we go here. Then. down, look down, and yes, I'm one of those weirdos, I gotta center it, just because, yeah, I don't know if anybody else is like that, but I'm like that, so, alright, so what do we got here, let's change the material so I know what the hell I'm seeing, stuck on the fence, okay, okay, 
so that's two blocks and that's three blocks so it doesn't matter the only way to do more is to do this by hand All right, so now we're two blo right? One, two. Yeah, now we're two blocks on each side. Oh, I suppose I could do just have a double height little thing right there on both sides to keep people from falling over. So, we got that. We come down this procession here. Probably doesn't have to be too far. This side over here, I think, is going to be like the bar area, kitchen side. This side will come down again. And we'll go... Like, under here will be... The barracks which goes through to down there because it, it doesn't make sense to have and then maybe on that far side a mixture of storage plus we could also have some kind of a a brig type operation That's all I'm going to be able to get that way. So let's do this. start with this material now how do we want to do that we just want to chop it or do we want to have a really interesting light well that comes down I kind of like the idea of that like this just really cool so okay so first things first we need this to Trim it. All right, so we got some trim. Can you even do it as like a step where it? I mean, I. Uh, I could do it in an angle if I used roof tile. Have it come down at a pitch. So, so like we start wherever the light wall is and it comes down like this at a pitch to brighten up the space. We could try that. See, see how, uh, how well that goes. Let's see. If we're going to do it... Nope. 
then down from that. I think that could work. So then we need to do... I can't remember which one has a really nice underside. There's one of, one of the roof tiles has a really nice kind of... Um, idiot, wrong way. Uh, has a really nice flat inside when you place it. I just don't remember which one it is. So then, do we want to have it so that it trims it just straight, or do we want to have a little bit of extra? I think extra would give us a little bit of interest. There we go. Because there's plenty of space to have something coming down from that. And then we take our walls. Let's do this. And then. So because of the color, color quality, I think I would still want the red. Oh, I need to break a little bit more of this out. I still think it should be red. So we'll come off one. And then that comes down. So we'll leave one space. Guess so. All right. Just for completionness here, I can't because I can't reach it. Okay. No, 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 leave that there, because that's where I want to bring the... Well, no, i got to leave the whole thing, because that's where I want to bring it down from. Okay, so that's where we're going to angle it down from right there, this direction. So then, change the correct material here. So weird, probably because I put too many of these in the wrong spot. How the hell did I do that? I put it all in the wrong spot, man. There we go. That's better. Right. And it's going to have that little bit of thing. Yep, that, that's exactly what I want it. Just like that. Very nice. it off. Should I come out one more? 
Oh, I did. All right. Well, we'll fix that. There we go. Now it's the same. Right, we are almost there on the ceiling. Let's get rid of all the scaffolding. Yeah, we'll definitely have to have beams. There's no way we're going to be able to leave it like that. Way too big of an open space to look like it even remotely works. Okay. What's this do we think? accidentally put an extra wall, or is that where my column is? I think the column is more like right here. see where that ended up. It's definitely in the column. No way I got it that right. Oh my god, I got it perfect. What are the freaking odds of that? Holy shit. Okay. I mean, I can dig with the, I can deal with that. Holy crap, man. This is where we're going to go down. So that entrance is actually going to be not exactly right there. So that's going to be our path that way. This side is going to be other. Let's go back up to that. Let's go to that. Let's create some more space. I'm 
I must have accidentally put a, a wall behind it or something, because I'd imagine I would have done it like that. Let's find out. Yep. Just put one wall behind the other somehow, for some reason. Putting them up too quickly, maybe. I think what we'll do... Okay, so, so if there's the column, I think what we're going to do... is we'll take that all the way to the edge, just like we did with the King's Quarters, and for the level... Oh, wrong way. For the level that we're on, so the whatever we decide this stair goes downward, I'm thinking not a full flight, but maybe one, just one flight. Because it could be a half, like maybe this is a half or three quarter flight and then this is a half or three quarter flight and you get you know your barracks down there and then this is a mixture of your regular mess hall for just the the average citizens of the hollow hall it's a bar and a small kitchen it's leisure we could try to figure out if we can make some kind of games like I, we don't really have darts or anything like that but we could try to figure out if we make something with certain machines that we bury in walls just create things that make it look like this is a space that they're being entertained in or something to that effect I think I'm happy with this level right here. Need some light. Hmm. So if we're going to come down and have more like barracks down here, one side... Actually, maybe we'll come down on this side, and this side will end here with some windows that overlook down there, and this will be the balcony. Like, we could do that. So then if we did that, then this over here needs a floor. Right, because this is the level I'm going with. A little bit more, I need two more blocks. That's correct. So, first things first, let's put... I 
and then maybe in between that we'll have window that overlooks maybe we'll see figure that out in a little bit what we're going to do there but let's take a look at our our balcony all right nice big old fat balcony that is at a different height than the other one and that bugs me didn't think about that should have been at this height. We could make it to this height. We could extend this out over it. And that wasn't right. Alright, let's leave that there and then let's do. Okay, so we're going to extend it out other over it. Maybe the underside of this side could be storage. Do something like that, maybe. All right. Go to this. I think he still needs to go one more. be some weird storage if it's storage, but man, I do not know how to get these things right, do I? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, let's try it this way. Okay. <laughs> That's better. Alright, so we come out of our thing, and now we're at the same height, so now we can build the same thing. Let's go out here real quick. Actually, you know what? I have this thing right here. Might as well use it. Alright, so you go out of it, and it's the whole... So it's that whole width.
too far away. Okay. Oh, it comes out way thicker than that. Oh, it's like it's like this if I remember right. This one. And I can't reach it. Okay. Well. I can reach it with this one. One more, it looks like. Okay. Now we get back to work. Alright, so now we have our second balcony started. So now I'm not worried about that. Let's get back to work on this. Takes care of that part. Now we need scaffolding. We're getting there. We got about... I'd say another two in depth of these uh, four meter blocks and we are at the wall. And then the hard part starts once we get like you know all the spaces fleshed out then I have to go back to the hollow holes take a bunch more pictures and get the references of how they do all the like the little cascading with uh, let's see it's with this material and oh man that's that's not gonna be fun it's gonna take forever but I want this to represent the hollow halls as much as possible. So I'm willing to go through all that trouble to get it all done so that when someone comes in here, they're like, holy shit, this is a hollow hall. 
versus oh, it's some guy made a thing that looks like a hollow hall kind of trying to make it properly. It's a hollow hall minus the fact that we can't put mobs in here, which would be awesome if we could. We may have a problem over here in this corner because of the shroud. I had a problem when I was digging it in that top right corner. Actually, no, we might have a problem in that corner. We'll see. We'll see when we get over there whether or not it's a, an issue. Yeah, I mean, I dig. I, I understand, and and I don't. Ha I'm not mad at it or anything. What I want to be able to do is I want to be able to. I think you and I had this conversation. Place the shroud. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of your corners had to just be. Well, so okay. What I, so what I originally did in this. No, stop! 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 Ah, you shithead. I hate that we no longer have control over a glider. We don't have precision stopping anymore. Um, okay, so originally, you can see right above my head there, all of that came down in kind of like an angle. Whereas all of this was all the way up, is pretty much all almost to the ceiling. And up there above my head now is kind of where the... What's the name of this place? Long Keep. Where Long Keep's, like, basements are. A lot of them are still buried under rubble, but they're there under the ground. So I kind of was making it a feature. I chunked as much as I could, but I left it all kind of all funky like that with the mycelium and all that good stuff. So it, it kind of looked appropriate for the space. And that was before the... Flame Shrine got moved for the for Emily's house, and then once it got moved, I lost. Uh, I don't know, five meters or something of the total space, the depth of this. Let's see if I, yeah, yeah, I think five meters is about right. I'm not mad about it or anything. It's you know. You jerk. It. I like the 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 player that won the contest for Emily's house. I think they did a great job on it. So I'm definitely not upset that I had to lose a flame shrine in distance. And it you know it caused me to rethink how I was doing it and change it up a little bit. And it never hurts to do different things sometimes gives you a challenge to create more be more creative that's probably a better way to say it just a minute. I thought there was my ceiling right there. Like the shrouds over here? What's up? I am getting closer to the edge of the cliff, but I'm not that close. No, wait a minute. You're not talking about your sky base, obviously. Which base are you talking about when you had to give up corner?
Uh, that's ch oh, we're we are there, right there. That's that's chunks. Yep, and uh, we're gonna have problems now. Was it just like in the middle of nowhere, or did you actually? Build in an area where there was shroud nearby, like, like off of a cliff somewhere near your space. Cause that's interesting. If it was just shroud down in the ground somewhere, it's pretty interesting. Some more light in here. Alright, so we found the edge. We also found uh, long keep. Some chunks of one of the pieces of long keep right there. Well, oh man, yeah, <laughs> that's a damn fact. Man, you dig for that much time and you're like, yeah, I don't care what's happened. I'll work around it. I'm not moving. <laughs> it's a lot of work digging. I, I really, really hope they give us better ways to dig in the future. I almost don't even care what it is. Just something. It could be like... It could be a structure. Like, like a pre-built structure that's just this huge... I mean, I, I guess the way to do it is just have... So we got the four meters. I don't know, like a... But the camera is such a problem. I don't know how they make it happen, but... Add a new care category that's eight meter and have a square one. Instead of the block that I'm on that's half a square, have a full square... And then go to 8 meter. Yeah, 8 by 8 by 8. Big boy. I, I don't even know how our camera would deal with it. The way that the camera system is right now. But boy, that would sure do some digging. An 8 by 8 by 8 would, would dig out a big damn hole. Okay, let's get rid of... The, no, we'll put some ceiling up before I get rid of that. Alright, so since that is the wall, I'm going to go... I think I'm going to do a double thick wall so I have space that I can put things in it. And it'll also hide some of the long keep stuff. Alright, so we got a double thick wall here, and that is our end. Yep, yeah, of course, can't get up there. 
Coming from this way. Let's get some more ceiling going. On this side, as high as this is going to be, we are definitely going to do the the square lights over on this side, over this space. The ceiling ones like we'll have in the middle of the hollow hall. Alright. I think doing um, an 8x8 would also be good for when the, those folks that build the mega structures. I think it would help with that too. Think about um, think about the people that want to actually build and welcome in somebody. I, I didn't see you come in. I apologize. Uh, what, the, the people that build like... Okay, alright. Lord of the Rings in um, Fellowship when they're towards the very end and they're sailing down whatever river it is and they see those two um, statues that are on either side of the river holding the cliffs up and they've got their hands forward. Hand, each one's got a hand forward. So think about somebody who wants to build something like that, right? That's going to take an absolutely colossal amount of stone, assuming they build it out of you know rock. So going up to something like an 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight would give so much more capability for us to build mega structures just absolute behemoths of projects uh oh ah damn you it's gonna make me chunk that out by hand you suck and it's being a dirt bag too Got a bunch of shroud, my ceiling, all kinds of stuff going on right there. Or the the folks that built uh, Minas Tirith, if they had had an eight by eight, I'm sure they would have had a lot easier time doing it. Ooh, I gotta be real careful. That is... I think that's the basement that has that chest in it. Because that's some rubble right there. Well, it's a good thing we're not going any further up. about to fall off. Wolf out there doing his wolf thing. And there we go. Gotta get another set of blocks. Man, I've been burning through blocks. That's 10,000 at least just for this. All 
All right. Back to work. Let's see if we can get this. You know what? I want to get my little closer. Be easier. It's twitchy. Being fussy on me. I can't see how high I am. that. Let's see what's going on with this one. There we go. What about this one? Can I get this too? Yep, I can't get that because of the... Hey, you got that piece. Nope, that's all screwed. Let's do this while I'm here. gone. And there we go. Let's get some floors in this place. Alright, I need to go see if we messed up we, I don't know why I'm saying we, if I messed up and stuck it through the wall anywhere. Looks fine. Yeah, looks alright. I don't see any penetrations through it. Alright, so if we're going down here,
switch back and go to there we go I think this under here we could probably make a little more intimate in size um Since it is just going to be like barracks and whatnot, maybe, I mean, maybe we're already at the right height. I'll, I'll see how this comes down, how the staircases come down, and see what I like. Here, let's put, uh, nope. There. Let's get our wall coming down so I know where I'm at. There we go. I guess not. Alright. Something just seemed weird about it. Uh, did it. Let's go to the big stair. Flippity flippity. Go up here. Turn on snapping. Or don't turn on snapping because you're being a jerk. Fine. Is that correct, or did I miss it one? I missed it one, yep. Yeah. Because snapping doesn't want to work, so... That looks correct, that is correct. So this is off by two. Alright, let's see what we can do here. One little nub just sticking there. That's funny. Alright, so what do we think height wise? I'm thinking kind of like. Are we there? I mean, that's that's still pretty good height wise. That's still pretty and now it's it's not really that big if I'm gonna do any kind of chandeliers though. But if we're really just doing barracks down in here I don't think there's really enough space to do a mess because okay, so this is gonna be like We'll have some kind of kitchen over here. It may be not be it may not be the whole distance wide, but something with some kind of a bar. And then we'll have tables and chairs around here. And if like I said, if we can come up with some way to make what looks like entertainment. I don't really know how we're gonna do that, but some kind of like entertainment things we'll put that in here too because this is like your 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 chill out space this is the pub this is yeah there you go this is the pub uh and we'll put beams in it in it you know running this way side to side put a put a big fat you know 70 inch tv up in here too some surround sound with it you know the whole works all right, if you can give me just a moment, I'm going to grab a drink, and I think we're going to keep going, because I've I kind of got the bug in me right now, and even though it's uh, late for me normally, I'm going to keep going. So give me like a minute and a half.
All right, I'm back. That was a good stretch of my legs anyway, so that worked. All right, so if we look at this space, am I comfortable or do I want to come down just a little bit more? Just because, let's go ahead and come down just a little high. Let's go ahead and come down a little bit more. It's not going to hurt us. It just makes it, you know, a little deeper. When things start start shape change, it gets difficult. Yes, it does. So, oh, it's difficult to let them go. I thought I thought you were talking about like the finer details. No, yeah, it really does because. So, what I think you and I talked about, some of us talked about, this side over here. Once I get this fleshed out really the last thing to do is whatever I'm doing with this space. I don't know that I'm going to still have more down. I might dig more down to get to make it even more grand. But at some point, these columns are going to get ridiculous. Like, these columns are only going to go so far before it just looks silly. Like, maybe I can have them go... Um, I don't know, 30, 40, uh, I, I'd say probably about 20, 25 meters tall is going to be enough to make them look impressive, but not ridiculous. But going down that far, I think is, uh, it's just silliness. You're just, you're just, at that point, you're just doing it just to be like, hey, let's, uh, let's do, dig to the mantle because we said so. And not really because there's any kind of purpose to it. Plus, what else, what FPS drop am I causing by doing so for a space that isn't really being used? And it's that kind of stuff. So I do want to flesh out the areas that I had planned, but I don't think there's really that much of a need to go too, too, too much into it, if that makes any sense. All right, back to this one and back to the right tile. All right, now do I need to go this low? I mean, I don't hate that low. It's still lower than the ones above us. All right, so right there uh no <laughs> a floor dum dum there we go we has a floor all right so now we have our set space so we are looking like i mean that's fine cuz it'll it'll give us space to be able to put chandeliers do we have one on my yeah so like if i do this here that's already not that much far over my head. So that, yeah, I think that I think that's that'll work. That's good. Now back to digging. Okay, I also need to check something here. I think I'll probably go until we get basically to this wall. And then under there is your barracks and Oh, right. I also have to get out. Ooh, hey. See, that's another thing. I want to get to that spot and see how close I am height-wise. The little spot we dug through. See, now we have another goal to go to. I'm really curious how close I got or how close uh, this height is to that space. I don't know what I'm doing, apparently.
to almost there we go very nice now over this way nope down Oh, I think we found our spot. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's just where I finished the wall. Okay, that's bugging me. Oh yeah, no, that does mean we're close. Because if the wall finishes, then that means the the back portion, the the uh, the red tile is right behind it. So we're right there. I think I'd like to be able to rotate items vertically, like put pl oh, a hundred percent. Why can't we put... Because think about, like... I mean, this is uniquely an American thing, I think. But, like, commemorative plates. And we've got these really nice crystal plates. So why couldn't I put those, like, on my mantle? Or uh, display them vertically on shelving. Or, uh, when I lived in Europe for a bit, uh, something they did there is... Plates would stack vertically on sh on open shelves. So, stuff like that would be cool. Okay, we gotta be pretty close. Oh, like that close. Okay, so this is very close to that level. I got that pretty darn close, man. I'm one tile up. And I can deal with that. One tile is not a problem. Wait, am I dead on? No way. There's no way that I'm dead on. Holy shit. How? I, I, I don't even know how I pulled that off. I, I don't even believe it. I'm looking at it and I don't even believe it. Just. Okay. Alright. Okay. Serious, man. What 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 is Bob Ross says? Uh, there's no there's no uh, mistakes, only happy accidents. Dude, I miss Bob Ross. That dude was goat. I used to watch him when I was a kid. Uh, I go over to my grandparents. I mean, <laughs> we're talking a long time ago, of course, but go over to my grandparents, and he he would have. Stuff like that, or um, Nat Geo. Back when Nat Geo had VHS tapes of the the kinds of stuff that they had for programming, it was great. I learned all kinds of stuff about animals growing up. Just all kinds. It's really cool. Is it? There's some fond memories I have. All right, so this can give us, uh, actually, I think I'm going to wipe this out instead have a space properly under there. Ha have this uh, alcove from the bottom, not from the top. Hmm. 
Let's do this as an inset. I think that'll look nice. What the hell did I pick? <laughs> Still watching Bob Ross on Twitch. Very tempted to try to paint this stuff. You know, the interesting thing, it, this is an opinion, mind you. The interesting thing about Bob Ross is he wasn't actually that good of a painter, but, I mean, he's better than me, don't get me wrong. He just, he was willing to try things and quote unquote make the mistakes and I think that's kind of what what made him as popular as he was is that he just yeah I like that that looks nice I think it would look nice if we set it in one though in set it one space I think that would look better let's uh let's do that uh, it's going to be from right here. No, I guess it's going to be like that too. I think all these will be the same when I take these out. There's a there's a painter that I really like and I I get some crap for it because pretty much anybody in the like art scene considers him to not really be that good of an artist. I like Thomas Kincaid's stuff. Um he does a lot of Which one is that? That's right block. Yeah. Yeah, it looks better having it in set. Um, he does a lot of like, I don't know how to explain it. simple things, maybe is the best way. And I just, I just really, I really like the way a lot of his, uh, his work looks. Ooh, you know what? Let's do the same thing here from that column. Let's inset it, make it look nice. I think maybe because people see, uh, I think it's Thomas Kincaid. I, I'm pretty sure I have that name right. They see his work not selling for very much money, and oh, he he must not be good because you can buy his paintings for a hundred and fifty bucks or something like that instead of thousands for some of these other names. But I I, I just like the the look of it, the look of the painting. I'm also not trained in art or anything like that, so I'm more looking what looks good to me. Like, what, what catches my eye? And now that I did that, I think I need to bring this out one more. Dang it. We'll do that later. I'm still in awe that I got this like this. I just... This just blows my mind. It's incredible. Like, I was, I was that on from that <laughs> that distance I'm also kind of that way with uh <laughs> so I spent most of my life in the cinema industry and <laughs> while I spent a lot of it doing um working with independent films and stuff like that I, I've also worked at the big boxes and I'm that person <laughs> that kind of pisses off like your traditional Star Wars fan because I didn't hate the Disney versions of Star of Star Wars stuff, you know, and, and people are like, how could you like it? This and that, and whatever. I'm like, because I just turn off my brain and watch people shoot each other. Same with stuff like uh, Transformers. Other than maybe the first one and the the newest one that came out, that's the uh, the animated. They're not very good, but I just turn my brain off and watch robots punch each other in the face. You know, it's entertainment. I'm not 
I don't have to sit and watch a movie and everything has to be the most perfect story ever or I'm losing my mind, you know. But there's people like that. They, if if it's not just like the perfect story, the the perfect ending, the perfect everything, they just lose their minds. Okay, so now the question is... Should I... I think I just answered my own question. I was going to say, should I leave some of this and make it a proper hallway, or should I actually utilize the space? And I think I'm going to utilize the space. I could do storage on this side, and on this side, closer to this side, I could have the the jail cell. the the Whatever we're going to call that. The, the brig, the thingy. Oh, but I can be very careful over here, though. So what... How far do I need to go back? Not too far. I don't have to go too far back, but I also need to watch out right there, too. Some of it. Okay, so let's do... Let's do it one back. Two up, and that'll give us a little bit more space here that we could put a ceiling. Now eh, we might have to go up a little bit more, but that's okay. And then let's come another like half. Same thing. And that'll give us space. So it'll give us space to enclose this piece. So it's not all seen. Yeah, I think that'll work fine. So now I can take all this, and it won't matter. back. Can't reach it. Okay. Oh. Damn it. Too close. Then, go back to ceiling or wall, flesh this out there. Uh oh. I think that one just chunked it into our floor above. It sure did. Did a weird little thing, too. Alright, got rid of that. 
Oh, nope, not all of it. Some here too. There we go. So, let's go ahead for completion and get us a little bit more here. There we go. Now it's nice and solid right there. this and then the last piece very nice we need a floor here Another thing that would be nice is, okay, how do I describe, describe this? An indicator. So, like, I have this floor, right? And I have it on the right-hand side. I can see it is against the wall. On the, the end, it looks to me to be off. That looks on. But maybe I can't really tell. So, I don't know how they would do this. Imagine the right-hand side of this square right now. Since I'm touching the wall, maybe they make the edge just glow a little bit like a pulsating glow so I know that is coming in contact with another piece uh, same with the, the bottom like right here but if I go up one then it isn't anymore or the top same thing I think that will be a nice quality of life improvement to help us really be able to tell where things are I need so this is the lowered ceiling, so let's just go to the lowered ceiling, it's fine. We don't need to go over. So then, we need this thing. There we go. It is off by one? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Let's do the same thing. Like that. And then up to there. So we have a night. Yep, I like that. That works. And then the top will need one as well. Let's see if I can do it with this. I don't know if I'll be able to reach. I can't, okay. If they could move the camera more to the right during the, yes, 100%. I, okay, besides that, when I go into this build mode and I've got this out, what if they just made our care, okay. My character has disappeared now. Why, right, just, just make my character disappear when I have this out. Like, it didn't even have to go all the way disappear. It could be like a, um, like a, like a, like a shimmering, like a ghost. It could just be a ghost of an image. You can kind of see it, but you can't really see your character, you know. I think that would also help, uh, really, really make building easier. Because the camera is not our friend when it comes to building. And that is no joke. Alright, back to the big boys. We got some distance to cover this way now. And I know where we're at because I have the different floor tile above us, so I can see it. Why are you doing that? I hate when it does this. A phantom body during building. Yeah. 
because oh man it gets in our way so much and it is it can be a real pain this one all right why is it doing that always drives me nuts when it leaves these little chunks How many are up there? Dang. I suppose the simplest way is when I have this on instead of... Okay, but... We still have to be able to see our character because it's uh, ground awareness to situational awareness. Like we're, when we're on catwalks that we've built so that we can... You know, of course, that goes into the whole creative mode and allowing us to, you know, free fly around while we're building in creative mode. And I know there's detractors out there. What? But then you're going to cheat. I'm like, bro, you just make it so you can only fly around within your flame altar. It has to be in the boundary of the flame altar. Boom. Problem solved. You're not cheating the game. You're just flying around inside building your building. I've, I've never really understood that side of people where they're like, No, you, I'm going to tell the studio that this thing is bad because I don't want it. Okay, but what about people who do want it? No, you shouldn't play that way because I don't play that way. Well, what about the people who do play that way? You know, it's like, there was one I saw, what was it? On the Steam forums, uh, what game was it? Uh, might have been enshrouded. Anyway, someone was asking for... Oh, yeah, it was enshrouded. They were asking for... Um, it looks like you need pipes in the toilets. <laughs> it kind of does, but that's the walls for the... Oh, I know what you're saying. I, I get what you're saying. That's... I wonder if I can figure out what to... Hmm... <clears throat> I might have to sink something into the ground to make a, a pipe-like thing, but yeah. Sorry, I gotta got clear my throat. Give me a sec. <laughs> yeah, it might take me a bit to figure out what things I can use to look like pipes, but that's I, I, I like that idea. I'm not really sure what I can use for something that looks like pipes. I mean, the the first thought is to sink a uh, fence down, but that's gonna I'm gonna have to have something up there that covers where, what I sunk down. I don't know what I can do that with because you know obviously there's limited space up there. Okay, so these are just the feet for the deal sticking down. All right, switch back to this guy. Hey man, talk to you later. Appreciate you coming. Stumble by. I'm probably I'm a little long-winded. I probably don't have that much time left in me, but I still want to go for a little bit longer. But we'll be back back at it tomorrow if you stop by. All right, there's our wall.
<laughs> I just thought of something that's terrible. <clears throat> so you got, you got your toilets, right? Even though that's the bottom of the cabinet, but you got your toilets. <laughs> that's awful. This is where the brig is, and I have the cells, and <laughs> the people upstairs are going and taking a crap, and it just drops right down into the prison cells. That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> a terrible thing to do. <laughs> and I'm probably going to do it now that I said it. <laughs> Not, obviously, no one's going to realize that that's what it is. So I would have to tell them that's what I did. But that's such a horrible thing to do. Alright, let's get some light going. Alright. That's, that's such such an awful thing to do. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to probably have to double wall that because of all the crap in the way. I suppose I don't have to. I Oh, I know what I can do. Just do this kind of jobby up there. Run it across. That'll be fine. Alright, let's get this going. So, the back is right. Yeah, I'm gonna work. No, that is not correct. All right, so then I think I'm going to leave those uncovered like that. It almost kind of looks like, yeah, but I don't. I don't really like seeing this thing, and if we're gonna have these as like prison cells, um, okay. Here, first off, I really need to figure out what space I'm doing for this. Oh right, I forgot to take this part off. Can I do it with this, or is it gonna muck it all up? Sorta. Yeah, it kind of weirds it out. All right, fine. We'll do it the hard way. All right. Uh, let's go back to this. Oop, oop, oop. And there you go. Oop, wrong one. Let's just put a, a little lip on it. There we go. Just a li just a littlest of the lips. And why do I have it like that? There we go. Now, okay, I gotta see this layout here. So if we're gonna make this the barracks and some kind of a prison, it makes sense to have the prison over here. 
so then maybe it's a long wide walk that way that way and this is the barracks and we do like a bunk room we could do a bunk room It's been a minute I that I've tried uh, doing. Oh, I've got my other bench. Forgot about that. It's been a minute since I've tried to stack. Let's see if I can get this thing right. Since I've tried to stack the. Uh... Bunks, uh, beds. So I've tried stack beds. No, I think either one of them right. Whatever. <laughs> the last time I tried, the collision is too too far above the bed, and it, I just I couldn't do bunks right. Okay, so if we're gonna do bunks, let's do. Five blocks between them. Oof. That's a tall ass bunk, man. Okay, so let's go back to this block. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. I want a ceiling on top and glitch bed under the ceiling. I think I know what you're talking about. No, damn it. Damn. There we go. Okay, so how far will we come out? I think definitely that far. We're gonna have to break up all these straight walls with like columns and shit, because it's just too much. Honestly, I feel like the stairs are kind of dictating. And I, I think that's plenty of space. You know, we do kind of a number like this. What is going on? There. I mean, the other option is just we have a small staircase that goes up to a half, like a loft. I mean, honestly, we could do that. And then, sit, just like what you're saying, you can glitch a bit under a ceiling. Okay, so let's go. Is that correct? I think so. Looks right. So let's see, let's do that. Put a door probably right here or just have an opening. And then this so if we did do a loft type we could come up a short staircase a short staircase and be up at, at a high that runs all the way across that just has bed 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 and then underneath that is bed 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 that you know we put like little little foot lockers and various things around them to give them a, a somewhat of a sense of reality realism excuse me
Alright. So, big open space. We could, you know, put benches and and display cabinets and all kinds of stuff like that. And then we'll have our prison here that I think I'm going to go ahead and... I can always pretend that the toilets are up there still. I think I'm going to bring that ceiling down. I feel like it's too much. Too tall, and, I, and, I, and the coloring, because of what the ceiling is, I don't think fits with what I'm going for here. do this and we'll just let's drop it down here where they come into the like they come into the hallway and it's a drop and it's dropped down there already Let's go get another stack of 5,000 again. Boy, we're going through blocks, aren't we? <laughs> well, it's a good thing we're doing this on a public resource world, huh? Where I have unlimited, just not really unlimited, but a lot of blocks. For a moment, I'm thinking, ooh, what if we did coffered ceilings? Seems like a little fancy for uh, a prison area <laughs> to do coffered ceilings. Alright, so now we get to bring that down again because now we don't have that middle piece anymore. Is what we did it. And apparently I completely missed two little chunkies right there. Alright, let's get back to this. That is good, and I think right here we'll go ahead and chunk it up a little bit by creating like a beam or something. Let's go too wide. It's this one, and let's go. in depth. Yeah. So it gives it just a little more prominence. What in the hell? How is there still a piece there? Jerk. Okay, fine, whatever. 
All right, so I'm thinking we could do a pair of cells there. Then you have your jailer over here, like a like an administrative table, um, and some maybe we do some wall lockers again. Uh, just the stuff, and I don't I don't know what else maybe. Uh, I don't know, you just just that kind of thing. And I'm definitely gonna do one of the dudes is gonna be in here up on the wall like like I did in my video recently. That's gonna be one of them for sure. The other one may be an empty cell. That's another thing I really like about the Builder's Companion is that you can do cool stuff like that where you can uh What's it called? Um, place like skeletons and stuff like that. Oh, come on. That's kind of interesting. I don't hate it. It's gonna have to come way down. I think we'll do a transom in this though. I think that's about the right height for it. So that's five, that's not gonna work because we need four for a door. Unless... Yeah, but those are big-ass damn doors. Unless we just have this open. We just have it open. Do I want to do two, or do I want to do three? Let's look at three, see what we think. So, but this, if we're going to do it like that, let's just go ahead and do columns. <laughs> space Invaders. It just looked like a Space Invader th dude for a minute. Oh, now it looks like uh, Among Us. Kind of. So that's nice. It gives us a good thick chunk there. I think we're going to go into here just a little bit. Give us a little bit more space. I'm not going all the way. It's, it's too, too low and I don't want to go down another level. We got what we needed for... Uh, For the the uh, the bridge, we got our depth for the bridge. So I'm just thinking, like maybe over here is the the what? Like the the I don't know the head dude, the the supervisor. This is the supervisor's bedroom, and he gets his own. Like he comes in here, and he's got his own little bedroom. I I like that idea. And then the rest are bunks. 
We'll even give the supervisor a, ch a uh, fireplace. Well, we can give, like, the whole room in the other side a fireplace over here. But then the supervisor, he gets his uh, literally his own fireplace. Alright. I think that's plenty of space. We'll have a door here. You got a bed, you got a little fireplace, you got a you got a sweet little pad. For this dude. Uh, let's see, let's go to this one. That's Yeah, that's fine. Then should I do this so it's contrasting in the space? I think so. four, five, right? Doors are four wide, right? Do I have a door on me? I do. No. Yes, doors are four wide. All right, so you got that. Fill this gap up here. Then this needs to come down two. Nope. There you go. So this is your cozy little space for the uh, supervisor dude. And we'll put like a fireplace over here or something. Let's put the fireplace up one block, and we'll just do the same fireplace we did in the other one. It's right there, and he's got a little bed, and he's just, you know, he, he, he feels fancy about himself. He's not too fancy, but he feels a little bit fancy. There we go. Alright, let's make sure I didn't mess anything up upstairs. That all looks good. All right, so let's do let's add some stairs to get up to the lofted space. We need to see how high we're going here. Thirteen, six. So if I put a block here at seven, then we got one, two, three, six. Put a block at seven. Yep, six and six. All right, so then we need to come down, let's see. Boom, boom.
That's weird. Only have it come up one. Okay. This is a little too high right here. I need to come down one. That's where I need to be. There we go. So then... And there we go. Alright, so that should be plenty to be able to fit uh, one there. And yeah, it's a little tight, but I think these guys will be just fine. Part of me wants to now do this with a different block, though. I think I want to do this with a different block, so let's do this. right now so that I can see all over the places. There we go. Seem to have a hard time getting that straight, don't I? Alright, so that's four. Let's come out. Don't want to come out another pair of four. Is that going to be too much? While the beds under here can run this way. The beds up top could be sideways, for that matter. They're going to have to be sideways, because they're like this long. I need to get some beds and see... see what they're going to look like. Nope, I need to be up this way. Also need to decide what beds I'm going to use. I'm thinking crude wooden for the regular dudes. And then maybe wooden bed for our supervisor guy. Start with that. See what we think. Boy, I got a lot of empty space to flesh out when I'm done. <laughs> it's a lot of space. Okay. So in order to do this, I mean, that is technically enough space to walk. Give us more beds. Or I could do it like this. I could do it like this where it's head to head. So like... Okay, so like... Like Foot Locker there. Come like this. Then do this. And then we flip it like this. Get to know your neighbor. <laughs> and the same thing. We have just a little bit of space. Or this end one could just be at the end. Because th 
doing this I can shrink this back a little bit more I think it'll look nicer if I do is that two blocks it's one block okay can I fit another two of them doing what I just did maybe I don't think I can do it and have like little foot lockers by them I got an idea for that though. I think it'll be alright. Yeah, so you could put something, you could put like a double locker there, and then you could put some put some lockers right there and then over here you can put it over here now I think that works fine so four beds up here now I can really shrink this back because it's it was too much I, I think it's too too much Yeah, that's better. And then we'll have um, like a couple of the straw mats and whatnot up here. We're going to change this whole thing to the the wood, but I'll do that here after a bit. Now these down here are different. They can just be your standard like this with a chest at the end. Not too far. So say like that. And then a little bit of space between them, and like that, and then bing, bing, and I have a couple over there. And then Mr. Supervisor, or Mrs. Supervisor, wow, that's a little bed for this space, holy crap. That's a really little bed, this space is huge compared, hmm, should I do two rooms? I think I should do two rooms because this thing is this, this. Yep. I think we're gonna have to do two rooms. This bed is just too damn big. Okay. That's fine. I'll just take this, flip it over this way, and we'll have two rooms. So. A his and a her supervisor. There you go. What did I do? Two spaces? I did. Two. Alright. Let's uh, do something like this. And like that, but I'll take this one from you. So there is no proper center point. That sucks. That drives me nuts, but you know, whatever. And let's see, we got enough of that stuff. Okay, let's do. Uh, It all red? That'd be a lot of red. Let's uh, let's do this. Alright, so that one's got a fireplace, so we're, I guess we're thinking that one's a little more fancy, so we'll go there. I mean, it's still not a small space. I mean, it, it, yes, it is a small space, but that's 
Let's do this, and let's change this orientation. Be like that. We'll do something different for the other one as well. So there's that. A couple beds there. Maybe we'll put like a chair. You know what? I know what we'll do. We'll put the the fireplace for these dudes in here. We could have some storage under the stairs. And I will get probably two more of these beds so we can fit eight. Plus two is ten. I mean, that's obviously minuscule compared to what it probably would be. But it's still cool. Alright, we need... Two, three beds. We need three more beds. I don't even have enough of those damn beds. Not to make beds. Bro him. Betty buys. Uh, the other one must be our base hook. I have some of those. I'll just dupe those. Is it workbench basic? I guess work workbench. There it is. Wow, we don't have any crude mattresses. Okay, so we need two of these. There we go. Let's go get uh, one more of the better bed. Okay, and let's grab some straw mats. <laughs> oh, nope. Uh, let's do just like some mixture thereof. All right, uh, fireplace. What fireplace should we give these guys? Really, probably wouldn't be a fancy one, but short of doing that again and just placing it in the wall, I don't really know which one I would want to put. Which I have to build it into it. I have to make it. Let's just do this. And we'll do things like chairs and wall lockers and stuff and, you know, all those things later when we flesh it out. Just get it set now. Okay, so... Fireplace. I hate how it shows through. Yeah, that's good enough. It's fine. Alright, it's so fireplace and then El Betty by. So this one's going to be more like this. Well, should we do it like this? Yeah, let's just do it like this. I didn't grab... No, I didn't. I did not grab the other fireplace I needed. Boo. Get you out of my way for now. Alright, so got a little bit of space on your end. Same. And the finale. There we go. So, put in... So this one's a furry. Let's not put the furry in the one he has a fireplace. Let's do kind of like a that number. Like like straw is any better. Okay. And then maybe... Let's 
something like that. Unlock that. Okay. Then we got some some rugses. Probably change it to one of the bigger ones run under a couple of them at some point, but for now that's fine. Uh da, 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 da. what else? Yes, I know where another rug should go. And it happens to not be the furry one. That is perfect. Awesome. That's exactly what I needed. Alright, so we got... Prison. We need to make prison fence. So we need to figure out how we're going to do this prison guy over here. So I think... Let's see where they at. They're right here. Snap on. This way, right here. Go there, or should I go here? Let's go there. Okay. Now, let's get something to stand on. Is this what we're going to do for this? See, I want to do spikes down. I don't know why I can't flip that to have spikes down. I feel like that's 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 something we're missing by not being able to have spikes downward. guys that don't snap to those. I would love to hear Keen's explanation as to why the corner prison things don't snap to the regular ones. It just... I, 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 yeah, I, I don't get that. <laughs> how, are, how are they explaining that? Alright, fine. Well, I have to turn snap off. So that I can do this. And this side I'm not going to be able to do until I put the door on. Okay. Yeah, how's that going to work? Is it enough to have that turn there? I don't know that it is. And it's too narrow to have... Oh man, this this is a conundrum. I might have to do something like that and then... Okay, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. So pull this... 
put in the door to one extreme, which also doesn't snap to those because reasons. Yep. Definitely, definitely reasons right there. All right, let's do like this. Then let's get a fence. Oh, I used them all. We need more fences. All right, we gotta run and get fences real quick. Yeah, that's there. Twenty. Now we got plenty of the rest. That's fine. Okay, let's go back. So what I think I can do is put one of these in the middle here. No, that doesn't even fit either. Really? What the hell am I going to do about that? Alright, I know what I'm going to do. Does this snap at all? Yeah, not to the right spot though. Does it snap to itself in the right spot? Okay. Alright, alright. Like that. And then putting that, getting that on top there is not going to be easy. But we'll make it work. All right. That's not too bad. That worked out just fine. So now go back to door and then the last piece is going to be the angled one. I suppose it could be another one of these. We'll have to see how it looks. Alright, get this right on here. That. And then, am I right that it's going to be the angled piece? Nope. It's going to be the regular piece, and it's just going to stick really far into the wall. Alrighty then. Is that why he's on this one? Yep, okay. So. There's that. One moment, I gotta sneeze. All right, get this right on here. It looks right. Pretty darn close. There's that. Now I need these. Oh, screw you. Don't tell me I have to be like that, do I? No, I don't. Okay, cool. Come on. Just right there. Okay. There's that. Alright, so now we have our two cells. We're going to make our doors. I guess we'll just have this door come out this way, this door goes out that way, and like 
this. Okay. Yep. Now I'll get back to this guy. And now let's picture perfect this bad boy. Pixel perfect, I mean. There we go. Time to do the end as well. Yeah, no, that's on there, right? Okay. Alright, now can I grab just the little piece right there? Nice. Okay. And there we go. So now we got a uh, quote unquote door. Not really, but you know, whatever. It works. There's one. Let's do the other one. So then we'll have our prison fences, prison portions done. I really wish I could, you know what? I could always furnish w the one that. I don't know, maybe the one that has the dude in it is kind of rotting in there. And I could always have his closed. You know. I'm not I'm not against doing that. I think we could do that. But it's going to be the dude I'm going to put against the wall. So I think I'll wait till the next time to do that one. Let's see, do I have a table on me? I don't have a table, but... I do have some of these, and I think if these guys were going to have stuff, they would have that kind of torch. Not this kind of torch. Maybe also another one here. And another one here. And then take that out of there. Oh, no. I meant to take that out of there. Put that away. And there we go. Alright. I think this is a good spot for us to call it. We're coming up on five hours. This is the longest I've streamed. I appreciate everybody for stopping by and hanging out. We will get back at this tomorrow. Similar time frame. Ooh, I should push that over a little bit. No, it goes into the wall. Never mind. And uh, same thing. We're going to work on continuing this side. And then once we finally get here, then we're going to figure out what we're doing in here. So, yeah. I still don't really know. If uh, if you stop by again tomorrow or the next day, uh, have your have your juice thinking cap on and give me some ideas what you think I should do with the the big haul. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good night.